so is it finally time? What am I talking about? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got you there, didn't I? What am I talking about? The monitoring zone, the innovation zone, guys. We are creeping up on that time once again. We know that Jasmine, or more accurately, Binance, quarterly, at the first week of every quarter, reviews all of the projects in the monitoring zone or the innovation zone. They've changed it from the innovation zone to the monitoring zone, the crap zone, we'll call it, okay? So that is creeping up. As I said, we've got, uh, we had the first one in uh, March, um, or sorry, well, yeah, we had, we had it in January, the first week of January, and then uh, uh, April, first week of April, um, and then the first week of July, so then August, September. So we're coming up on it. Um, is it the first week of October? 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 Yeah, first week of October, I believe. Um, so it is coming, guys. We're, we're weeks away, right? So the question is, are they finally, finally, and I know we ask this every quarter. It seems like every quarter comes up, right? Are they finally going to do it? I, I It baffles my mind how they can keep it in the monitoring zone without any explanation whatsoever right? You know that they're being bombarded with the question, why, why, why? At the very least, Binance, which I doubt anyone from Binance is watching this video, but Binance, at the very least, show enough respect for the community of the Jasmine project, because most of them are Binance customers. So show support, show respect for your own supporters and your own customers by at least answering a question. Why are you doing this? We deserve that much at this point, right? Um, this has become not a Jasmine negative uh, topic, but it's starting to become a Binance negative topic. It's starting to show a lack of respect and acknowledgement for the crypto community by Binance, right? Um, this is very clear at this point. They may have valid reasons why they're keeping it in the monitoring zone at this point in time. They may. Or they may not, and that's why they're not telling us, right? You would think if they had a valid reason, they would just say so, right? But they're not. Maybe they don't have a reason. My suspicion is they don't have a legitimate reason. And the reason for the silence is because I'm pretty sure that what they're doing is illegal. It's price manipulation of a project, right? You put it into your monitoring zone and you put a warning tag on it for any potential investors to come along to not buy into it, right? That it's risky. Not that all, all cryptos aren't risky, right? However, you intentionally do this and you're not giving anyone a valid reason why you're doing this, which tells me that you're manipulating the price of it and that's against the law, right? Um, this is the kind of thing that the SEC should be going after, should be investigating. They should be going into these monitoring zones of these exchanges and asking for explanations and criteria as to what qualifies a project to meet that tag. Because knowing that you put a project into that uh, section can drive the price down. So if you're driving the price down by doing this, you better have a damn good reason why you're doing it. Not just trust me, bro. Right? So that's my thoughts on it, guys. I'm hoping that Binance finally does the right thing. Uh, Jasmine has continued to develop, continue to uh, uh, make new announcements. Hara, Hara has been at more uh, seminars, festivals, conferences uh, than any other head of a project in crypto, 
this year. He has been everywhere from East Denver to Tokyo to Vietnam uh, to South Korea, everywhere in the world. This man is out speaking, collaborating, making new partnerships. They're not sitting around doing nothing, being radio silent. They've been one of the most productive projects in this entire bear market in terms of uh, partnerships, developments, collaborations, and more. I mean, for crying out loud, Ondo was just appointed to head off the innovation, the Japanese government's innovation sector by the Japanese government last week. Where does the ridiculousness end with this monitoring zone, right? Where does it end? Hopefully it ends within the next few weeks because this is getting crazy. I want to know what you guys think, though. Is Binance finally going to do the right thing or are they going to continue this charade? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the join button, guys, to become a member of our community. We'd love to have you in our members-only live streams. Also, guys, book your one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions over on the Patreon. The link is in the description. The spots fill up very, very fast. The Patreon has been exploding uh, handfuls and handfuls of new members every single day. People want to get their one-on-ones in. We Zoom call you. We help you with all things crypto. It is a phenomenal tool for new people to crypto. It really, really is to have that time with me one-on-one -on -one to discuss your personal portfolio, your personal uh, questions, your personal fears, right? Uh, and, and aspirations as well, your goals, your dreams. What do you want to achieve, right? Um, that's that's what we do over there. We also do technical analysis training videos on the Patreon. So if you want to start learning the basics so you can know when you should be DCAing and when you should be taking profits, we teach that over there as well, guys. We're doing a whole lot of good stuff. You also get a lot of alerts, not necessarily. I mean, you get buy alerts, but so do the members on YouTube, right? You get my buy and sell alerts, but you also get alerts about like potential, you know, negative things that could in macroeconomic negative things that could impact the market ahead of everybody else uh you get positive things as well not just negative things right so you get a heads up on this kind of stuff coming um so definitely worth being over on the patreon guys um yeah like and subscribe i'll see you guys later